Hey everybody, Jordan Yates here. I'm at OTC and I've come across this really cool booth that I want to tell you more about. Could you introduce yourself and what this booth is? Hi, I'm Manos Papadakis. I'm a professor of mathematics at the University of Houston. Wow. And I'm also the CEO of Lolark Vision. Okay, that's really and cool. And here I would like to introduce my friend Peter Suber, who is the <laughs> CEO of Poseidon Robotics and the brain and a very good engineer. He's a very seasoned ROV. This is remote operated vehicle uh, operator. Uh, he has done ROVs from this big to that big. Wow. And okay. even bigger. Yeah. Okay, so he has very big experience. He has worked on Nord Stream, in the Black Seas, in the Antarctic. No, in the Arctic. <laughs> Almost, that's yeah. That's and that's actually a good introduction, yeah. All right, Peter, so what are we looking at today? Well, today we've got our Lanai Pro ROV here. So this is one of our medium-sized vehicles. It's got a little bit more power than our other ones. Okay. And a lot more capability. We've partnered with Lolark Vision here and with, with our other technology partners here, Mission Robotics. Okay. So we get one of the best controlled platforms in the industry, one of the most stable. Mm -hmm. And as you'll see here in a second, it's it's very stable, it's much easier to fly, and it has a lot more capability. Awesome. We can do with this what, uh, what a lot of people will, would normally think you'd have to use a work-class vehicle for. Yeah. And so this can save you tens of thousands of dollars per day of operation. That sounds pretty nice. So, <laughs> Let me get down. So what we're looking at here, this is the interface of what the operator would see, correct? Correct. So we have our power supply here. Okay. This will give 400 volts DC down this cable. Mm -hmm. Wireless doesn't go through water very well. No, it doesn't. It'll give us power and our ethernet communications. Okay. High brightness monitors we yeah. can actually see in sunlight. And then uh, we've actually got a, just a... Uh, just a PS4 controller here. I love that. But we can run a, a more professional controller with a Hall Effect joystick. Okay. But I can give this to anyone under 50 and they can fly it instinctively. And so we, we do kind of like these for demos. That's amazing. Okay, so show us then how it's working underwater, guys. We're gonna look over here to the left and we're gonna see it in action. Now he's doing this just with a remote controller. Isn't this so cool? Watch it come up. It's so seamless. I love it. And, something and we're, we're able very to see it all on here. the screen right here. There we are. We've got very low video latency here. Yes, that's crazy. Some of the best in the industry right now for a digital camera. And wow. we're running full 1080, uh, 1080p camera here. That's 30 so frames good. per second. We can tilt the vehicle. I feel like down. people's laptops are struggling to get to 1080p, so the fact that your underwater yeah. drone can do it is amazing. And we've got a lot of power in this one. Yeah, wow, that's fast. And if we're uh, willing to lose a little of the stability, we have even more. This that's is so I'll cool. Do. Wow. Oh no! <laughs> Sometimes a little too much. Yeah, that's okay. okay. We, we like it. 